Weevil eggs, weevil eggs, weevil eggs. The new meta for getting rich quick in the verse. All you need is a little luck, patience, and a competent crew to make millions real quick. So, come along with Captain Kenzo and I as we set off to make millions in this episode of... Will it be patched? Kenzo was over at Crew L5 for reasons I can't disclose here, but if you know why, then you've probably been up to no good as well. He was the one who got me into this whole weevil egg hunt in the first place, I'm not sure who told him, but for the last few weeks we've both been chasing that dopamine rush of cracking open a carrot or a caterpillar full of millions. We're rolling together for a few reasons today. Protection, cargo space, and he has the ERT bounties, and I don't, so I'm kind of mooching off of his hard work today. Our journey will start at Hurston, Kenzo's favorite planet, and since he has the contracts, oh. I'm just going to follow his lead. Oh man, that Connie's coming at me. I'm here to help. Oh, you didn't need my help. <laughs> you didn't need my help. All right, Connie's down. Nice. ERT bounties are so interesting. You get put up against some of these strangest combinations of ships. You see a lot of reclaimers and oh man, are they fun to take down. The best part about these kind of missions is that you really have no idea what combo of ships you're going to be fighting. And just like right now, we're targeting an 890 jump. ERTs don't like having their picture taken though. Very rude. Get the content, get the kill. Dude, you're brrrr. That's so sick. Throughout this nice. whole video, I probably cut out about, I don't know, five hours of us flying around together. We passed on C2 cargo holds full of Widow and Neon. We just knew that it was a waste of cargo space considering the price tag of the goods that we were after. But taking down this 890 felt special, so this time we actually took some large containers of questionable goods and went to go sell them just so that we could say that we made some money tonight. We went to go sell our goods and noticed another player also there. Thankfully, they were talking in chat and we were able to be nice to each other, so we protected him while he sold his cargo. Then we went in shortly after he left. I think, oh, I think he's landing right now. But we were very tempted to ruin his day once we saw that his cargo hold was full of Quantanium. Very tempting, but we need as much good karma as we could get, so we let him live. Oh, wait, 261 essences of Quantanium, we missed that. I sold what we found for an easy 1.3 mil, I sent Kenzo his cut, and then we chose to split up to cover even more ground. We could take on ERTs by ourselves, and so that's what we did. Now before you go out and try to strike it big, just remember that luck plays a huge factor in all of this. At this point of the night, we've been playing for a couple hours, just flying around and chatting, which is great. But trust me when I say that your patience will pay off, and you'll see why very, very soon. Nothing, dude. We didn't have to be alone for long though. Soon Kenzo found our first mother load of the night, Hiding inside the belly of this carrick was a small fortune, around 5 mil worth of eggs. We had to blow up the ship to get the cargo out, but thankfully, most of the cargo survived. I just got instantly distracted though, and went for the floating crew members. It was getting lonely on my ship, and I figured I could use the company. Hungry, hungry Corsair. Oh yeah. When I was done messing around, I did help Kenzo with the rest of the boxes I saw flying around, and I gave him the other box that I found earlier from my ship. 
just to make his haul look even crazier. I'm shocked. It's literally staring about $10 million. That's crazy. Before we left, I made some space in my cargo hold just because we felt like we were about to get lucky. We went to restock at the nearest planet, which Kenzo had to do a lot tonight due to his Ballistic Corsair. Once all the housekeeping was done, we went to take on our next contract. You see the Connie. Beautiful. Took out our caterpillar, 600i, nice. and a reclaimer, and you know I was just scanning chips as I usually do. When Kenzo suddenly found our biggest score yet. Twenty-one SCU of gasping weevil eggs. How many? Twenty-one. Oh. <laughs> There was no way we were going to fit all of those weevil eggs on our Corsairs, so I had to leave to go get my C2 just to fit it all. Altogether, we were looking at around 30 mil of eggs on just one ship, and so we wanted to be as safe as possible. How do you want to load this thing up? Oh my god. <laughs> what? Oh wait, so I gotta go to the other side then, huh? We filled the C2, but by the time we got to this point, it was like 1 a.m. for us. And I was tired, and I forgot to record me selling all the cargo. I know, I know, no, boo, bad YouTuber, but you just trust me. We sold all the eggs, is... made a killing, and then we <laughs> fell asleep. This is almost irresponsible. But here are some shots of Kenzo and I running eggs in maize around Hurston just a couple days later. He was kind enough to let me poach around 200 SCUs of maize while he crammed whatever he could find of eggs into the back of his Corsair. We tend to avoid burritos like the plague when selling precious cargo like this. We've learned our lesson in the past, don't even touch burritos. I was able to sell about 5 mil worth of maize, but I still have plenty more on board. But with the base cleared out of baddies, Kenzo was able to land and sell his eggs for another 7.3 million credits. Absolutely insane. We wanted to sell all of this cargo as fast as possible, so we headed over to Art Corp. Like I said, avoid Brios at all cost. Nothing good happens at Brios. Brios for DGens of the universe. Let them have it. When we parked to the next spot, a C2 pulled up. Without Kenzo, I think they would have just started opening fire, but with that extra firepower, scared him off a little bit. The site was really cool to see. It was like, <laughs> it was a pretty mean looking standoff. It was another great sale, another 7.2 mil in the bank. We celebrated with some barrel rolls and then left for the last selling point around Mycotech. This was the only landing zone that was kind of scary. Pulling up, there was a landing Gladius, and the scan showed that the player was still on the server. I tried my best to scan the area, but there are just so many corners to cover in this junkyard that sometimes the best solution is just to run to the terminal as fast as possible and sell what you can. Sale happened as easily as it could, another 9.2, putting a grand total earnings around 21 mil. I hope you enjoyed this little showcase of just how insane the cargo from ERT bounties can be. I feel like it's a way more engaging game loop than the salvage missions that we were all doing back in 320. Let me know how you've been making your space millions this patch. If you want to see more videos just like this one, please consider liking, commenting, or even subscribing. If you want to go that extra mile, you could be like these beautiful people and support the channel through a membership. You could have seen this video a day or two early, like these guys did. But, you know, anyways, thanks again for watching this video, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace.